good morning. Don't mind my boys. I am sick, so I sound like crap. Anyways, I wanted to do an update on my brows. I am here actually outside in the parking lot about to get my one month touch up. So it looks good. I'm just going to have her, of course, darken it a little bit more and maybe add a little bit of more arch. I haven't decided if I wanted this part here thicker. But I wanted to show you guys the one month mark, how it looks before my touch up. So I am actually going in now for my appointment. It's at 9 and I will show you the after touch up. Alright, see you in a bit. Hey guys, back with another update. I just got done with my touch up and man, look at my brows. They are upset. And um, my artist said it's probably because my immune system is low from being sick. So that's why they're just bleeding a lot. So I have to blot every 15 minutes instead of every 30 minutes for a full 24 hours. And then um, since I had an allergic reaction to their cream, she said I can just let it dry heal or use whatever cream or ointment I'm used to using for tattoos. So I have this, um, this lotion that I ordered online for tattoos. It's like an organic um, cream. I can show you guys when I get home. Right now I'm still on the road heading towards my hairstylist. I have two appointments today. Um, yeah, so she said I can use that. So when it starts drying up, I can just put that on and have it kind of keep it, keep my brows moisturized. But yeah, they're super um, red right now and they're bleeding a lot today. But I like it. I had her add that little arch that I was saying, if you can tell on the end. I like it a lot better. Anyways, um, I'm on the road, so it's, it's this is going to be a little bit of a bumpy video. But yeah, I will keep you guys posted on tonight. I'll do another video and let you guys see how it looks as far as the puffiness goes and the irritation. Hopefully it's not too bad. All right, until then, bye. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on how it looks as far as like the swelling goes. And there's no rashes or anything like that. When I went to get it touched up, um, my artist did tell me to just do um, whatever works for me. So if it's like dry healing, that's fine too. And she said I can use... Um, whatever works for me so I just wanted to show you guys that too so this is what I usually use it's called hustle butter um, hustle butter deluxe it looks like this and then on top it does say Richie Bulldog certified it looks like this on the inside this is for tattoo care it says right there before and after and it helps a lot with the healing process, like the dry patches and the itching. This is what I use for my tattoos that I um, get on my body. And so this is organic. I'm going to just use this instead of that vitamin A, D ointment that I got and I had the allergic reaction. So I'm going to try this. I haven't put anything on my eyebrows just yet so I'm going to do this before I go to sleep tonight and I will update you guys um, if not tomorrow the following day because when I use the vitamin A and D ointment I think it was like after five days if you're curious go ahead and check out my previous update or previous video I think it was like five days um, of using that ointment and I broke out in hives all around my eyebrows and it was super swollen and irritated so I'm not going to use that this round I'm just going to use this and see what happens but I'll give you guys an update like I said and hopefully I don't have the same reaction I don't think I will um, this stuff is like I said it's um, organic and it is cruelty free and vegan 
this is awesome especially if you have body tattoos you can't stand the the healing part and it starts itching this is really good for the itching i got this on ebay no no i got this on amazon but i'm sure you can get it on ebay too and i think it's worth the money i'm pretty sure i paid like 20 bucks for this but they have different sizes so it's up to you i always get tattoos done that's why i got a bigger size so far here's a close-up it looks good you're not supposed to wear any makeup around your eyes by the way so i actually only have my foundation around this area and then i don't have any um eyeshadow or anything like that tomorrow i won't have any makeup on i'm not going to even put my false lashes or mascara or, in, or anything i want to make sure it heals properly so no makeup is the way to go and also cleaning process um for my first video use a washcloth so that way you could just wipe around your eyes and don't get any the sink water on your eyebrows not at least for 10 days especially when you're showering you don't want to put your face in the water and let um, the water run over your face until like 10 days afterwards so yeah i sound like crap so i am just gonna stop talking and i'll update you guys in a few days with my new cream here all right bye all right update on this body butter here man i am loving this on my eyebrows too i mean it's perfect for my body tattoos and it's perfect for my brow tattoos too because i didn't have any issues with this like i did my first session with that vitamin a d ointment that i got i would put this on at night before i go to sleep and then in the morning when I'm getting up to go to work or whatever, I'll put this on too. So I do it twice a day and I didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. The drying process was fine. I mean, I had like little patches here and there, but it wasn't like huge clumps of the cream. This kept it moisturized and the skin just kind of peeled very easily. I didn't really notice the peeling honestly because that's how good this thing worked. It didn't itch, it wasn't irritated or anything like that like I had with the vitamin A and D ointment. So just to show you guys how good my brows are looking after it healed. This is a few days after um, my touch up. See how the arch is and you can see the um, you can see the blades the micro blade don't mind my towel back there I use a towel at night to sleep because my hair would literally bleed like the color will bleed off onto my pillows and I have white pillowcases so that is to prevent any color on my pillowcases. That's another good advice for you guys, all right? Well, that is all I have to update you guys. I mean, it healed great this round. I'm very happy, very satisfied with how it turned out. So far, I'm enjoying it. They look great. I don't have to worry about doing my eyebrows in the morning anymore. Like I can literally just get up and all I do is put my concealer under my eyes, around my nose, some blush, mascara. I'm good. I'm good to go. So it's been super convenient for me, guys. If you're ever wondering if it's worth it, it really is. It saves you so much time. Well, thank you guys again for joining me. I will see you at my next video. And until then, bye.